This is Daniel with Perspective. Alex Jones ambushed Bernie Sanders in LAX a number of days ago. It was interesting. Let's get into it. Well, they didn't know Bernie Sanders. So Alex Jones uh, approached Bernie Sanders with a camera, began asking him Alex Jones style questions. I'm sure you can fill in the blank in your head and you'll probably be right about what was said. Of course, socialism was involved. Mr. Sanders, why do you think socialism works better than capitalism? And why do you live in a capitalist country? Jones followed Sanders into the airport with a camera and just continued to berate him with questions. Why are you walking away from me? Why? Things of that nature. At some point, Bernie Sanders said, who is that guy? Sanders' aides continually blocked Jones from getting close to the senator until the point where they got all the way up to the gate where Jones was still continuing to attack Sanders with remarks that were a little bit odd, to say the least. Why are you so racist? Move to Venezuela, Bernie. You like it. People like you there. Jones made a point of making fun of them for flying coach while simultaneously making fun of them for having money, while simultaneously saying that if they're socialists, why do they have money and why do they live in the U.S.? Things that reasonable people say to other reasonable people in an airport. On that note, here's an interesting question. The airlines will look at you sideways if you have maybe over three ounces of liquid. They'll strip search you if you have six. So why is Jones able to harass a U.S. senator in the middle of a terminal and just walk out? I've seen videos of six-year-old kids and 90-year-old women getting harsher treatment for walking through with shoes that were too thick. What the hell, airports? Don't you have a zero tolerance for this kind of stuff? Can someone just walk in and harass people within the gate after they go through security? Seems like you're slipping up. I remember one time they almost called security on me because I asked for a cup of water at one of the food stalls. Come on. Okay, so what's my perspective on this? Well, the rock gurgler extraordinaire Alex Jones, as his lawyers have said in court, and I think is the best assessment of what is happening here, he's playing a character. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. Quote, He's a performance artist. I don't like him putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. What do I see here at this instance where this is happening? I see an individual looking to get likes. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. Looking to get clicks. And what's one of the best people he can get at? One of the most popular people, the most popular person at that in the progressive side of politics. This is Alex Jones' attempt to stay relevant. This is his attempt to put himself in a place where he could either A, do what he did and have what happened happen, where Sanders just didn't talk to him. Then he has the argument of, oh, Sanders walked away. What a coward. What a freaking coward. Or if Sanders had confronted him, he would have said, Sanders is denying that he's a socialist. He put himself in a position where he could make content no matter what Sanders said, no matter what Sanders did, and that's what he did. Sanders made the right call to not feed the goat because the goat wanted food. This is a situation that there was no easy way out of. Alex Jones was going to get something. I would have just preferred to have him be tackled by security and him yelling at LAX. That would have been a lot more fun. But again, airport security isn't what it's chucked up to be because as we all know, Little separate, but little fun. When uh, undercover agents in the past have gone through and tried to sneak bombs through airport security, people that have, you know, people that put their time and know what they're doing, about 95% of what they wanted to get through got through. So remember, kids, airport security, security theater, nothing else. Alex Jones got through, everything gets through, but you gotta get strip searched every now and then to keep the charade going. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow.